Alrighty lads, welcome back to another session here where I intend to declare war on Austria shortly. And uh, otherwise, let's check the country modifier here. I want to check the development now of Savoy. Mm -hmm. Getting uh, much nearer to a thousand after handing off provinces. Ragusa on the other hand, extremely far away. We're going to resolve that. Part of the solution is going to be the war against Hungary and Austria, so. All right, I'll choose us up with Denmark. Why don't we declare war on him? Now, I don't know if he has random assets around the world as well, like every other European seems to. This is Norway stuff. Uh, but... You know, I've been thinking about the situation here, guys. I might just give it to the Crimea, eh? I might not clean up the culture there, the border. I think it looks fine. Because the more that I, if I go for the 1444 look, um, there's a lot of stuff like this, which is unchangeable by now. It's more trouble than it's worth. That was never part of the objective. So rather than trying to make everything the appropriate, like reconverting a lot of these, I might just try to have them accepted. All right. Just throwing it out there because I kind of did. I what's I didn't I didn't follow exactly what I thought I would be doing unintentionally of course um getting too engrossed in the theme if you will and it's getting a little bit ridiculous here we don't need to convert every province back to how it was and uh that's going to be a real nice uh situation out here I'm not going to have to state it up and I'm not going to have to worry about culture converting it and that kind of thing so I'm going to go for Denmark. His capital's in Gotland. Why don't we just rush straight for that? And why not just declare the war now? The sooner we do it, the better. Now hopefully our peeps out in the New World can handle Friesland at least. Because they seem to be quite useless. I know Friesland is located down here. Or somewhere. He should just be war score for us, though, Friesland. And I'm going to need some dudes in the New World, uh, not in the New World, in Great Britain, to actually defend against uh, the potential rebels. So I'll swing back there soon. Tunis and Italy. Shoot. We can walk all the way around to North Africa, so that's pretty cool. Why don't we do that? And we were actually taking a serious hit to our economy fighting the British, pulling our navy in and so on. It's pretty sad that even when he's in his diminished version of himself, like his navy is so savage. That's crazy. Brittany's... Prestige is going to drop low again. Uh, I don't know what to do about that. I'm going to try doing this, guys. Having it so that, uh, Brittany, the, the, the PU guys who I wish to gain prestige and be, I'm going to put them on aggressive and the others, I'm going to put them on defensive to see if, uh, basically our subjects like Spain idle a little bit and that gives Brittany the opportunity to walk around and fight battles. That's what I'm thinking about, because he's going to drop below 50 prestige here shortly. Which is not good. 
Denmark does not have heavies, but he still made me suffer a casualty. How rude. Nice. Brittany is in fact going out towards Iceland. That's good of him. And here, he's actually fighting battles, guys. He's losing it. See the flip. And he's not retreating either. Ah, oh, man. He lost all kinds of units and stuff. God dang it, Brittany. Nice effort, but you're a noob. So in this war, I'd like to fully annex Denmark. That is a full annexation. And there we're basically done with the uh, Scandinavians for the most part. Now, what's going to be important, however, is that I give an occupation to Lapland. Because otherwise, I'm not going to be able to hand the provinces over because they're so far away. Now, it's desperately important that I fight this war at the same time. Are you serious? He's allied to Russia. I might have misclicked. No. They're guaranteed by Russia? Oh. Oh, okay. All right, let's try break alliance. You can't break guarantee. You can't break guarantee. Wow. His diplomacy is obnoxious. Let's go. <laughs> I don't have the manpower, lads. My enter key was not working there. Alright, back up to five level five siege general. Ah, level five military general. Dang, dude, I take breaks from commentating and it's like I, I I'm just I just go full derp mode. I don't know why. We just have two military points. So much so we don't know what to do with them, so I'm just going to artillery barrage here, even though we can siege these down potentially in the first month anyway, to just increase the likelihood of that happening. And uh, I was desperate to fight this war here before Austria becomes a tributary of Ming, so I believe what we can do is fully annex... Well, do we... are we able to do this in terms of war score? No... It's kind of inevitable that we're going to have to deal with Ming, lads. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. If we could acquire this 20% war score, that would help, but it's a long ways away. Lapland. And he's got a hundred prestige. <gasps> he did it. He went Empire Government rank. He did it finally. Yes. That's what I needed to see. The French on lock. Got him, lads. Got him. Feels good, man. Thank you, game. The French on lock. So one cultural group down, two cultural groups down, three cultural groups down. We got this. Cool. Yeah, it's a shame that we're at war of Portugal and everything like that.
The problem with Denmark is we're looking for a full annexation. So he actually looks really demoralized. That's good. But we need to acquire this fort to be able to piece him out. No end of our golden era. <laughs> Everything's coming to an end. So that's morale. That is morale. That's absolutism dropped. There's a lot of downsides to that. And just cost in general reduced. We had reduced costs from the golden era. That includes the integration of Kiev. Feel sad, bad men. We can currently royal marriage Greece. So that's an important one to keep an eye on. His uh, ruler is middle-aged already. I don't know where these generals are coming from. Yeah, maybe we should roll another general. We're way over our limit. Wow, Friesland, that's, that's Friesland in its entirety. That's what it looks like. So I might just give it over to uh, Spain. No, who cares? Just get out of this war. I don't know what other assets they own, I can't tell. Alright, those are basically all of the forts. We need we need this one and then we're good. Dang, Hungary's so strong. He he's much stronger than his uh the other dudes around here. Why you put up such a fight, Hungary? In Russia's case, we're basically going for a white piece, I guess. Just get him out. Heal up my navy a bit, repair. Oh, I'm so glad the French region's on lock. That's good. Good stuff. So how's the truce, the, how's it look like? Okay. Now, we can't hand it over to Lapland while we're at war and we're overextended, so I might just hand all the stuff over via occupation. It's not like we have an issue in terms of liberty desire or anything like that. Nice. All right, Scandinavia achieved. Feels good, man. Bring some troops back to Britain. I should consider leader siege and siege ability 10%, guys. Because we don't have much to do with our military points. I'm just going to do it. When we roll military leaders from now on, they're going to have plus one siege. And we're going to siege provinces more quickly. Oh, Ragusa's capital needs to be taken back ASAP. I didn't realize that it had fallen. So, we've got all sorts of stuff that we're at war with, including Portugal, man. Can I, can I walk down here? I can. Sweet. Let's go piece him out. I can be taking points. And I badly need Diplo points, so let's do it. Now that reputation is going to increase the rate that we integrate our subjects significantly, but that's got a downside because we're going to be earning less Diplo points. Like when I'm not overextended, I'm going to be like in the negative basically, and I need to make it to that war score cost. 
I need to just complete Diplo ideas is what I need. But it's never gonna happen at this freaking rate. Poor Crimea is not coring these provinces up while he fights Russia, but judging by what he's doing, it's good to see that he is actually coring them up. When I took a look there, he's coring them all up simultaneously. I like that. And Savoy's coring a lot. Because we need to hand off German Maghreb over to Savoy once we're at peace. Integrate the Mamluks once we're at peace. And then what? Ottoman truce comes up in forever away. I think Italians. It's all about Italians after that. We can do this dude. Freely at any stage. Table states seven years. Dang dude. The truces are a long time. And with that in mind, I guess we've got plenty of time to fight this war. Because there's not much else going on currently. I don't want to give the occupation away to Savoy because it increases the war score cost when you're using Imperialism CB. These negative events are bad. <laughs> They're bad. That's from being overextended, but the... Yeah. It's starting to feel like uh, I'm being a little bit too reckless with our military points because of the legitimacy dropping and so on. And that's bad. That shouldn't be bad in a campaign. 50 Diplo points. But it is... I find it fascinating that Portugal was a great power and Russia is not. He got booted out. That was the case even before we won this war and jacked a lot of the Russian territory. Just because geographically Russia looks huge. I wanted to say something referring to um, back to last episode, guys. And don't worry, I'm not going to go in deep. But... Just an example as to regarding to original thought or the lack of original thought. And uh, for those who are interested, hopefully it's actually illuminating to you. But I, uh, when I used to study some of the stuff in my own free time, um, came across a guy called Mr. Repsions, and he's like a popular YouTuber in that kind of clique that calls themselves the uh, skeptics that in my opinion are skeptical of some things and not others and it's a very kind of a stupid name in my opinion because they're hypocrites but that's just my opinion um and uh, he he said do you remember how i talk about original thoughts just repeating other original thoughts like breathing them in and spitting them out uh he gave an argument that, um, you know, with the very uh, arrogant, cocky, eager look on his face of how smart he is about um, how, you know, he cites something from the Bible, and so therefore God's bad, right? Therefore he's bad because so-and-so in the Old Testament, um, you know, one of the things that can easily be interpreted to be very negative and bad, uh, so therefore God's bad. So he says, so basically, uh, you know, he either doesn't exist or he's bad. That's his kind of uh, argument. But imagine that I say to you, um, I'm an anti-poltergeistist. Because they love to make comparisons, these atheists, with, you know, a ghost, a ghost or spirit man or 
or the giant spaghetti monster or whatever they call it, right? So I'll do the same thing. Imagine that I am a, I'm a a poltergeistist, an anti poltergeistist. I, I don't believe in ghosts. And you say to me, oh, that's interesting. You know, why don't you believe in ghosts? And I say, well, because either ghosts don't exist or they're scary. It's funny because not only are you, I mean, that's not relevant, but you're actually professing that you do believe they exist by saying that. Do you understand that you're saying, I'm completely open to the existence of it. A ghost. By say, because you're, you're saying, well, one option is they do exist and they're scary. Um, so that's pretty stupid, I would say. That's pretty stupid. It's pretty foolish. To say I'm an atheist. Either God doesn't exist or he does, but he's a bad guy. Um, because you're basically saying I believe in God. Or I'm open to God. Which is not what an atheist is. So then you kind of think to yourself, why would you say that then? If you're supposed to be opposed to something. And if you just take a moment to muse upon it, you realize that um, he revealed his cards, didn't he? Because he's, he's willing and open to accept the existence as long as he's portrayed in a negative light. So he is, in fact, Antichrist. That's what he is. I hope that you guys can uh, follow along with that thought process. But if you, again, it's like, it's, it's, you're happy, he's perfectly happy to profess, profess himself openly and outwardly that God exists, as long as God's just portrayed negatively. Um, so he's Antichrist, and the irony is that that's exactly what the prophecy in the Bible basically says will happen, and that they'll be very arrogant and cocky whilst they do it. Um, but the reason that I brought that up is because uh, that's an example of me breaking it down of original thought. Maybe you guys don't agree with me. I'm not original at all, whatever. You guys, it's not impressive to you. I understand that. Um, but it's also an example of the lack of original thought because I've heard that before. And it was said by Richard Dawkins. So you have this extremely uh, intelligent, bright, successful YouTuber, right? who uh, just repeats what his daddy told him to say. And apparently he's not bright enough to think for himself that Richard Dawkins just said, I believe in God. In different words, right? Either God doesn't exist or he's a bad guy because of such and such in the Old Testament. Well, that's not a very compelling argument. Color me unconvinced. I just thought I'd say that because I was thinking about my claims at the end of the last episode and I thought I'd just... Try to give an example of unoriginal thought and original thought on my behalf. Um, again, try to give an example because... It can be difficult. People disagree and have their own opinions and so on and so forth. Now, I'd love to give that to Savoy. Um, let's have a look here. We've got in Portugal Wild. So who are these guys? They're over in Southeast Asia, aren't they? Yep. Yep. Uh huh. He's contributing quite some neg like loss of war score here. This guy. That's irritating. Frick, because we're about to siege up everything else that we can from Austria, so the other thing to do is to um, sit for ticking war score, or go all the way out here to combat this dude. <sighs> Looks like I might send a naval unit, a detachment, all the way out there to combat that dude. Yeah, is there anything else I would be doing? Is there a priority here if I was to peace out? Not really, right? Most of Europe now is Great Britain, the Ottomans, and Russia. We have a truce with the Papal State, who is a small nation here. Um, 
glass in Lubeck. What's in Lubeck currently? Oh. Oh, nice little production bonus there. This glass goes for more than three that naval supplies go for currently. Got a bunch of prestige. There's nothing really for me to do with my prestige, as far as I can tell. So it feels quite awkward that our game kind of hinges on the fact that we have to PU Greece. But I do have the option to reconquer him and release him as a bunch of subjects or something, which each accept. We're going to go push on. Push on with the war to go separate piece Ava, if that's how you pronounce their name, and that will uh, result in a 100% war score. Delio. Give this to Savoy, which is a significant amount of development right there. 25. Pushing him further towards the prospect of Empire Government rank. I was excited to see the fort levels of uh, Ava Wack. We outtech him in military already, and we have the opportunity to do it again. So that's good. We're gaining one Diplo point per month currently. Ah, oh, man. That's not so good. I'm interested to see if uh, Berber, Algerian, and etc. will be accepted by Savoy. There's no real way to tell, guys. And uh, I'm remember this is just bonus point stuff in North Africa. Uh, we might not acquire it, you know. If I hand it all over and he doesn't accept it, then we might not acquire those bonus points. Now I'm really hoping that Uriel is accepted by the Crimea, and I'm I'm quite sure that it will be. It's just large enough, I would say. I haven't uh, read the, oh, I'm yawning, I'm tired, uh, comments from the previous episode, but I'm interested to see your guys' thoughts. I mostly just get positive reinforcement for being real, which is uh, interesting. I feel like a lot of YouTubers and things like that are quite fake, in my opinion. But uh, it's probably not pragmatic from a business point of view to be so real, if you will. Do I not have a general equip here? Oh, no, I need to occupy this province before we go in to equip a general. I don't think, like, I feel like I'm wasting time, but there's nothing I can really be doing right now, right? Not that I know of. I think we're all right. I will take up my military, as uh, we only, only have one stack out here. And we don't want Ava to be able to overcome it. So why is it that we had to fight this guy and, and Ming didn't? 
I wonder. Kiev is getting 60% uh, of the way integrated. And then, of course, we'll a job done in terms of military uh, diplo points being so lackluster. All right, that's nice and satisfying. Now, I'm very concerned whether Ragusa will accept Transylvanian or not. But here is some much needed development for him to acquire. Uh, just going to make sure not to make a mistake. It's these two. That's it, I think. That's Transylvania, and this is actually Slovak, which we have accepted, so we're going to hold it. We're going to hold it. Now, there's no converting it to Transylvanian, even if you wish to, guys, as it begins as Ruthanian. Otherwise, I wish to call these up and accept Hungarian. Now, all of this will be handed off to Ragusa as well, but he's currently uh, not able to manage it. Alright. Nice. Now, the Crimea should have caught up most of the stuff, so let's hand the rest off to him. Is yet to accept Uriel. He better do it, dude. We have to have these guys accept these provinces. All right, how's overextension look? We're under. Great. Good. Real good. So, how about we walk out here and just go pick them up. Uh, integrate the MAMs. That's what we should be doing. Ah. Core. Frick, I wish I took that coring distance. It got me again. So, basically we need to do Tunis. Which is seven years away. The Ottomans, which is five years away. Oh, man. We basically have a truce with everybody. I just tapped out by mistake. Uh, so one option is to uh, truce break. It would be really nice to finish diplomatic ideas before doing that. We could truce break. Um, wow. Wow. This is quite awkward, guys. We're going to uh, we're going to blitz through some time, I guess. Oh dang, cold drops, <laughs> cold drops badly, but we got some diplo points there, which is nice. That would have had a big detrimental hit on our production. I hope I'm not doing anything dumb. Somebody asked me to restore Armenia for bonus points, guys, to be fully accepted, and it's it's just going to be hard. It's just going to be hard, man. One of the issues with cultural converting right now, guys, at this stage, is how long it takes. These are fairly low development, most of them, so that's not the biggest issue, the time. But, uh, yeah, I might declare this war. If we're to do it, then... I have states available. Okay, it's something to do in the meantime. Let's go. 
I'll, I'll try for the guy who wants Armenia, but we have to convert provinces to Armenia in order to do it. Armenian. So that there is more Armenian land for Circassia to accept. So the provinces are these two, I believe. Which is one state, Armenia. Ah, I have to own some Armenian land directly. So we're going to have to demand one from Circassia, which should be doable. No problem. We have to be at peace, though. That should be fine. And we're hanging out, just hoping. Hanging out, hoping, waiting for the uh, PU over Greece, or else we're going to have to, like, reconquer that territory. Is it, is it going to say I can't core it? Seriously? Why? Why did they change the game? So, is it because it's in Asia? That can't be right, because I couldn't core these either. This is Europe. Why did they change the game? I don't understand. It might be because I'm on the outdated patch. I can't core anything that's next to my subjects, guys. We're gonna, we desperately need this. We're basically not gonna do anything. Uh, maybe you guys can comment as to why it is, but r right now I can't core anything. <laughs> it's like, what? It might be an unintended thing. We are on the outdated patch. Uh, I just can't core anything. You should be able to core next to your subject. It should be a non-issue. Uh, so my... Can you liberate yourself, please, Hungary? My suggestion is that we just chill in this war until I get that um, next splendor thing we get how many nine nine per month so it shouldn't take too long to get that 800 and take the ignore coring range distance which we desperately need it seems let's do some forts as well to uh benefit myself and some subjects in case you know, when we fight these wars, they get sieged back, which is always, it can be awkward. Ah, oh, man, negative 30 prestige. Why are these guys so negative? That's bad. So I guess Brittany's fine. Let's put him on defensive. It's Crimea, Raguz, and Savoy who we need to get the prestige so that they can form Empire government rank. There it is. Nice. Uric, Uriel, Urilic on lock. So we just need to feed Crimea into Empire government rank and then give him... He should be able to call across the Caspian Sea, right? I think he can. We need to give him the Empire government rank, give him the entire region here, and then give him enough development. So he might be our least developed subject. He's at 447. Yep. Both himself and Ragusa need a lot of land. is going to be here. Crimea, I suppose, will be... Um, this kind of group. Kazakh and all that stuff. So I'm kind of just blitzing through some turns here, guys. Some months to um, get that ignore coring bonus. And, uh, yeah. Ragusa and the Crimea should be able to acquire some rack up some victories, I hope. Will we fight wars like this? Navy's all the way back. It's 41 years old. The Greek could die at any time. What is Yemen's tick? This fort levels are bad. I'm going to go out there, might as well, and see if we can piece them out. Uh, 
Uh oh. Stupid particularists, or revolutionaries rather. Um, I guess Ragusa could become a republic. Would that be bad? I think it would be fine. Uh, either way, guys, a little bit of an unusual episode. I think I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Let's trap this guy on the island. And uh, yeah, we're, we're basically chilling. We're definitely on the homeward stretch, right? Great Britain. Um, we can always truce break, of course. But Great Britain should be able to be taken out in a couple of wars. No big deal. The land required from the Ottomans is pretty... If we go for those bonus points, it's pretty much all his land most of it so that's pretty sketchy considering the time we have remaining but of course we can go in deep for those 100 percent if we gain greece and we can hand them off or ragusa and we can hand them off now why is it that i can't integrate him because i can't core his territory see that is a it's not often that you run into that problem um which means here we go so can i do it now here we go all right that makes me feel better coring problems being taken care of and uh yeah what i need to do is demand an armenian province from circassia which stopped building the fort there rip And that's going to allow me to convert it to Armenian for our Armenian friend. We need to do the same to these two as well. Uh, or these two. Jeez, I need to recheck it. I think it's those two. Yeah, it is. It's those two. Uh, in the future. But yeah, um, that is what it is. We're just kind of meddling around anyway, guys, because I'm just waiting for the truce to come up. The truce is to come up. And, but uh, we're really on the home and stretch here, so that feels good. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'm looking forward to our truces coming up and sorting this situation out. It's a little bit nerve wracking whether he will accept Transylvanian. Um, I think, you know, this is high dev here. I think maybe we can dev push that to be accepted. Like, it's a little bit less grim than in Kiev's case where he wouldn't do it uh as far as algerian and berber i don't know dude we'll just have to find out i'll definitely consider dev pushing them as well uh when i can and uh yeah thanks for watching i'll see you next time